Hey guys, take a look at this. I found some jackrabbit tracks here in the snow. Maybe we can find Jack, Mr. Jack. Where is Mr. Jack the jackrabbit? Hmm, might be hiding in one of these trees or in one of these small bushes here. Actually, there are a lot of jackrabbit tracks around here. Look at all of these. You can see them going through the snow. So maybe today we can be hunters and go hunting for Mr. Jack. I see him. We found him. Look at that. There he is eating some snow or grass. I'm not sure what he's eating. Hmm. Wow, we found him. Hey there, Mr. Jack. Oh no, he's running away. Hey, there's another Jack. Maybe that one's Rose. Rose and Jack. Look at that. The, the rabbit digs, uh, uses its front feet to dig some snow away and then finds a patch of grass to eat. Look at that. Hey, do it again, Jack. Use your feet. Dig some snow. Did you see that? Just uses his front feet to dig, a, to, to like dig away, to move away the snow and then, uh, and then finds a patch of grass. That's awesome. Anyway, mission successful. We found Jack. Now we can get on with this video, but it's really cold out here. I thought it was warm. Because I saw the sun, see the sun setting over there? It was warmer earlier, but right now it's really cold. My hands are freezing. Look at this. I don't have a hand. I don't have any hand. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. I do have a hand. It's inside my jacket sleeve. You know, I always tell myself to buy some gloves, but I never do it. I should really buy some gloves. This is ridiculous. The hand holding the camera. <sighs> it's freezing off. Oh man, why do I do this to myself? I always go on walks when it's freezing and freeze my poor hands off. It's probably about minus, feels colder than minus 10 degrees Celsius out here. Yeah, it's, uh, it's probably about minus 10, minus 15 Celsius, something like that. Hey, do you know the difference between Celsius and centigrade? Have you ever heard people say centigrade? Do you know what that means? Centigrade, hmm, minus 10 Celsius or minus 10 centigrade? Well, I'll tell you, they mean the same thing, exactly the same thing. So, you know, minus 10 or 20 or whatever measurement you want, whether it's Celsius or centigrade, is the same thing okay some people say i've heard some people say centigrade actually here in canada it's better to say celsius i don't know who says centigrade but i've heard people say that but not normal canadians normal canadians say celsius not centigrade so you might have been confused about that if you hear centigrade what does that mean or celsius Okay, here in Canada we use Celsius, but in the U.S. they use a different uh, thing called Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, that one's just weird. See, Celsius makes sense. It goes from zero to a hundred. Okay, so water freezes at zero. So right now it's negative, so that means everything is definitely frozen. Okay, so it's, uh, yeah, zero is the freezing point and 100 is the boiling point if you're at sea level okay at sea level it's zero to a hundred um but if you let's see yeah i think i think water boils at a hundred at sea level but if you go up 300 meters then the boiling point drops by one degree so if you were 300 meters up then water would boil at 99 
Celsius, not 100 Celsius. My hand's freezing. <laughs> ah, this is crazy. Um, yeah, so Calgary is about 1,000 meters above sea level. So I think here in Calgary, the water boils at probably about 96 degrees Celsius. Yeah. How about in your country? What temperature does the water boil at in your country? Maybe you're lucky and you live at sea level and uh, yeah, maybe your water boils exactly at 100. Better run across the road. Don't want to get run over by a vehicle. <sighs> it's so cold out here. My poor hands. I should buy some gloves one of these days. I always keep putting it off, but gloves are only like a dollar, two dollars, maybe five dollars for just a cheap pair of gloves. So I should stop putting that off. I should put it on the top of my priority list. Okay, so here, take a look at this field, right? You can see some water over there. That water is definitely frozen because it's, uh, it's definitely below freezing. So that's how Celsius works. Celsius goes from zero to 100, but Fahrenheit, which they use in the US, uh, Fahrenheit is, uh, look at all those jackrabbit tracks. Wow, there must be hundreds of jackrabbits living here. I bet there are more jackrabbits somewhere around here. I mean, I don't know where they actually hide in the extreme cold. Right, they've got that nice thick fur, so I think they can just run around and they won't die. But um, I think they usually hide under the trees and the bushes when it gets pretty cold. I wish I had the fur of a jackrabbit. <laughs> oh, hey, take a look at that. Look at that green truck. What is that? It says Quechivo Salvadorian Street Food. Wow, take a look at that. Quechivo Salvadorian Street Food. Isn't that awesome? Have you ever had Salvadorian Street Food? I don't think I've ever had Salvadorian street food, but hey, maybe sometime we can go there. I don't know where that truck operates. I bet it drives somewhere in Calgary. I don't know, maybe there's a Salvadorian community somewhere in Calgary and uh, people buy food from that truck. I'm not sure. I've never had Salvadorian street food, but I'd love to try it. I don't think I've had any kind of Salvadorian food. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, Fahrenheit. So Fahrenheit is a weird, I mean, it's, it's like, it's, uh, so water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, it boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So it goes from 32 to 212 and uh, actually Fahrenheit passes Celsius at minus 40. Okay, so, so it's a bit weird. Like one degree Celsius is worth one and a bit degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see. So zero degrees Celsius is equal to 32 Fahrenheit. So Fahrenheit is slowly catching up to Celsius when it goes down and it catches Celsius at minus 40. Okay. So minus 40 Celsius is equal to minus 40 Fahrenheit. Did you know that? Minus 40 is where Celsius and Fahrenheit meet. But, but then Fahrenheit passes Celsius. Okay, so minus 50 Fahrenheit is colder than minus 50 Celsius. But minus 30 Celsius is colder than minus 30 Fahrenheit, right? Because minus 40 is where they meet and Fahrenheit passes Celsius at minus 40. Anyway, I just wanted to, uh, to talk a little bit about temperatures, go jackrabbit hunting with you. So remember, Celsius and centigrade mean the same thing. It's better to use Celsius if you're here in Canada. Uh, don't use Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit is just weird. I don't know why the Americans still use Fahrenheit, but actually here in Canada, 
we do use some imperial and some metric things. Canada is just weird. You know, we use inches. Here we use feet and inches more than meters. Um, yeah, I don't know. We use, uh, we use teaspoons and tablespoons more than milliliters. We use cups. Uh, what, uh, what else do we use? So we sort of, we use, <laughs> we use some weird, we're not 100% metric. I mean, officially we are. Canada's 100% metric, but uh, we still use a lot of the imperial measurements as well. I've made a video about that, why Canada is a bit weird and which ones we use, which ones we don't use. I think that was a year ago, maybe one or two years ago I made a video on that. Maybe I should make another video to teach you when to use inches or feet or meters. Because we do use meters, we use kilometers, we don't use miles anymore. Unless you're a farmer, you might use miles, but most people use kilometers. We use kilometers an hour, not miles an hour. Anyway, maybe I'll make another video to teach that stuff to you guys. But uh, right now, I'm just freezing my fingers off. So, <laughs> I better go back home, make some tea so I don't... I don't uh, lose my fingers because I need them to hold my camera, you know. If I lose my fingers, then I can't make videos anymore, which would be bad for you guys. You can't learn fun English things. Are these videos fun? Maybe they're not fun, but I'm having fun teaching you. So I hope you're having fun learning, even if you don't learn something in a video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best subscribers. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support. Even if some of my videos are uh, just random rabbit hunting videos. Anyway, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'll see you guys over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.